morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here on yet another glorious bagel Sunday. On top of that, it's Christmas Eve. I'm hungry and I want bagels. So, all right, let's go get bagels. Bagels gotten, let's go friggin' snarf. Okay kids, so lots been going on here. One of the things I did, first of all, was I moved these lights so that they're exactly down, what, parallel, almost just slightly above the lens. So that way they are straight out, but a little bit above. And I have to readjust them because I moved it again, but that one's okay. I rehung Doink, so he's not in any way. I put down my little Sure carbon fiber tripod so that I could snap a camera off right there if I want, right in front of me. Reappropriated another one of these because they're I'm like looking all over for them. Now, the big thing that I did, which I will show you in a sec. So now what I've done is I have done some mounting, some hardware mounting underneath the table. Like I said, my cables weren't long enough, my USB-C cables. Well, rather than go out and spend more money on longer cables, Monkey used his head. I have these extension, like these little, I think they're like one foot extension cables. And what they're made for, you know how you get those big bricks that are, uh, you know, the thing that you plug in and basically it takes up like three holes in the power strip. Well, these are made to plug into that. So now you just have a cable and, and it goes in and you can use every one of the slots on the, on the power strip. I've ordered so many of those things. I can't even begin to tell you how handy those have come in. And I got them all on almost every thing that plugs in to all of my power strips, almost. Some of the power strips are pretty big. As an aside, I did order two 22 hole surge suppressors for everything. So I'll have them both on that side, on the office side, because that's where all the shit is plugged in. All the computers, all the monitors, all the TVs, the printers, everything is on that side. All of my, uh, like my Arlo stuff, my Orbi stuff, so much shit on that side. This side I'm covered. I mean, because one thing that you're definitely not supposed to do is daisy chain surge suppressors. That's actually against every code. It's a hazard and I don't want to dick around with that. Now I do have, I guess it's an industrial shop power strip and it's just a long thin one. It's about four feet long. I don't know how many plugs it has in it, but not 22 of them. And it's not a surge suppressor. It's just an extension. So all this stuff is going to be redone. I don't think I'm getting it until um, the 26th maybe, or the 28th, sometime next week, I'm gonna get that. So I'm gonna have to pull all that shit out from the wall over there and re-plug in all my stuff. Now that's good because every once in a while I like to redo my shit and make it make sense. So that entire side will be redone all with surge pressers instead of it being the clusterfuck that it is now. All right, now that being said, what I did was I took the surge suppressor, surge suppressor, and instead of like plugging like four of those little one foot extensions in and bringing it over and having it hang down, I mounted it up underneath the table. And then that way I could route all these cables here and plug them right under the table. And then I just put a couple of those extension things on over here. I'm gonna show you that. There, one, two, boom. And now the cable's hanging and it goes all the way up over here. I put the plug up underneath the table and I actually screwed that into place and put all those cables in. And now everything is in a little cable caddy all the way up. And you can see it goes all the way across, up into the light. Same thing over there, all the way over, up into the light. So now all my cables are up. They're not on the floor. They're all out of the way. I can get in here and I can vacuum the entire floor and not hit any cables. So we are golden now. Now, the other thing that I did was I removed a screw 
out of this and I put in this piece of angle, like this angle bracket. And then what I'm gonna do is that I have all of these bags. They're sandbags and they're made for plopping over like the base of light stands and things like that so they don't get blown over in the wind when you're outside. And I'm gonna go buy some sand and fill these with sand, get a couple of split rings and just hang them from the table. And that way I have weight on that side to counteract all the weight that's on that side. Cause you can actually, well, you, you probably can't see it, but I can see it. The table's leaning and it's leaning that way because of all the weight. So all I gotta do is bump that once and boom, the whole thing goes over. And I do not like that. So I'm going to go buy some sand and some split rings now so that I can hang those things. So there you go. The monkey's been very busy today. And of course, it's hot as balls in here. And next thing's next is I gotta hang the, uh, the angle brackets so that I can hang the curtains. The only thing that I might have to do is I might have to go buy another set of curtains so that I have a third one in the middle and I can kind of make it like split into three instead of uh, just two, which aren't quite long enough to cover the TV. All right, we're gonna go shopping. It is 12.55. By the time I take off, I don't think I'm gonna go to Home Depot. I don't think I need to now, because I was gonna go and, and get different curtain rods and all that kind of shit and do a bunch of other crap, but I don't think I need to. So I think I'm just gonna head to Walmart, get another set of those curtains get a couple of split rings, then I'm just gonna go to three ships early and then come back and settle in because it's Christmas Eve. So the queen and I celebrate Christmas between each other, Christmas Eve. So we'll open our gifts to each other tonight after dinner and then tomorrow morning we'll get up and order, order or open the rest of the gifts like that we got from our mother and stuff. So uh, yeah, yay, exciting, it's Christmas Eve. The weather said that it was supposed to be raining. I looked and I didn't see rain in the forecast at all. And it's still gorgeous and sunny out and almost 60 degrees. Let's go have some fun. I'm gonna say mission is accomplished. I went to Walmart, I bought another rod, and I bought another set of the curtains that also includes the, the valance. But now I've got four curtains instead of two. So instead of doing three, I might just do four and see what it looks like. I went to Taylor's because Walmart didn't have anything. And I said, I need 10 pounds of sand, rocks. I don't give a shit which. And he's like, he was really thinking about it. And I just said, look, I'm using it to put inside bags to hold down stands for photography. So it has to be kind of clean. You know, I, I can't just fill it with dirt or, or, you know, with concrete or whatever, because it'll just poof, explode all over the place. And he's like, I mean, could you maybe measure it out later? Could it be more than 10 pounds? I go, well, yeah, I mean, but I don't need it. I don't need like a 500 pound bag of sand. It was a pretty small bag and it was 50 pounds. I guess monkey brain once again is not really working as far as like, oh geez, I guess I didn't really have a concept of, of how heavy that shit is. I also used curtain rings. They're like shower curtain rings instead of split rings. And I figure I could put three or four of those together through the hole and hold that up. Now, I'm also thinking, I don't need a lot of weight to hold that table over. I mean, yeah, the gear tree's kind of heavy, but that's centered over the, you know, the, the like over the edge of the table. And then the camera and the battery stick out, but everything else is like, I, I don't know. I just don't think I need that much. I also don't want to put so much on it that it tears the screw out and, and strips everything and fucks up the table. The shit that I go through, I swear, I don't know what's wrong with me. That constant change, that need for constant change is always there. And, um, you know, it makes me do dumb shit like this. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go get Bean. Here's shit in your eye. I came in, it was crowded, very crowded. And I just sat down and my boy Nick just automatically made it and brought it over to me. He's a saint among men. And they're making my matcha and I still haven't ordered yet. I love it here. So yeah, shit in your eye, yummy. 
Okay, my bean, long imbibed, her bean, I got a big one this time uh, of the gingerbread. And hopefully, well, you know what, I'm gonna put it down here because yesterday it spooged all over the place. Anyway, so 259, heading home, I've got curtains, another rod, 50 pound bag of sand that I only need like maybe 10 pounds of. And we're gonna go home. We're gonna finish my faux window by hanging the curtains. I'm gonna sandbag the table so that it doesn't tip over. And uh, I don't know that I'm gonna start laundry or not. We'll see. I mean, it's still pretty early, but we're gonna probably have our charcuterie dinner and then open Christmas presents, yay. So let's go do that. Yay, Merry Christmas. And there it is, folks. All done. Looks pretty good, huh? For a nice winter scene. So what I'm doing is I'm putting sand into these bags, which I will then put into these bags. I'm just trying to keep this as neat as possible. Okay, I think that should do it. Okay, here we go. That should be more than enough to to counteract in fact i mean just jiggling it i can tell and and looking at it 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 uh definitely evened it out or perhaps maybe even made it more heavy on my side rather than the gear tree side we are kicking ass <clears throat> the new setup there is all done grant that i moved the lights a little bit uh turning the tv into a window looks better than I thought it was going to, all done. Since it's Christmas Eve, that's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.